Yeah, yeah, I am, but I'm Live from New York City, this is Light em Up Fries with Big Points of Gas! <laughs> G fella, Big Paulie Cigars. <laughs> when you're the best at what you do, you know you're the king of what you do. So kings hang with kings. I'm a G, I'm a La Casa Grande Cigars Go and see them on all the ramp in the Bronx Talk to MCs, to call me Saiyan It's G Feller and Big Pauly Cigars La Casa Grande Cigars Go and see them on all the ramp in the Bronx Talk to MCs, to call me Saiyan It's G Feller and Big Pauly Cigars If you don't know who the king, then you're living on Mars La Casa Grande in the Bronx, Big Pauly Cigars Off the ramp, born and raised, ass around these Seen it all, fame to the rage, cigars for the stars, and it's in to get a feeny. Politicians, George Bush, the Giuliani, humidors empty, sell them fast as they roll them. Torpedoes, Churchills, Robustos, Coronas, fat 60 ring gauge, Casa Grande size, Charles double Coronas, whatever they the guys. Best of the best, why they worldwide? LCG, cigars.com, visit online. Cop can't touch their blends of grades and tobacco. Cuban style of bundles and butcher paper that wrap you. Made by hand daily. Best rollers in the business. Quality control. Cop can't even get near this. And for hunt the blaze of the classic Max 7. Even in a cloud of smoke, you feel like you're in heaven. Many different lines. Got something for everybody. They rich, rare, and rewarding. Bring out your inner bosses. One and only two smokers will agree. Bought the law, start of cigar rolling the NYC. Original, wise co signed by me. La Casa Grande Cigars, Big Paulie and G. I'm Let's G. go. La Casa Grande Cigars. Go and G. see them on off the ramp in the Bronx. Talk to MCs, to call me science. I'm the G. G. Feller and Big Paulie Cigars. I'm the G. I'm the G. La Casa Grande Cigars. I'm the G. Go I'm and G. see them on off the ramp. See the Casa Grande cigars and light them up Friday. You get a little, uh, you know, a little glimpse into the world we live. Gee, fella, pull the cigars. I'm the king, I'm the king. Now I'm going to go smoke my cigar. I'll see you later. Welcome to another week of Light Em Up Fridays. <laughs> we just came from a nice workout. <laughs> and, and here's what we worked out on. This is what we worked out on. <laughs> My friend Jay Ski Love from up above, Jason Nobley. Hey, Jason, how you doing? <laughs> Very good, Jason. Jason, you take a good beat. You I take, take a, a good, good beat, beat to the head. <laughs> Got enough scars on my head. Just so you know, Jason Nobley is a kid who used to walk down the street of the Bronx <laughs> talking to himself. This is a I still talk story. to myself. So and he goes, up. wherever he goes, he brings a camera with him. <laughs> so he decided to go down to where the 99% is, 99% uh, movement is, uh, what are they, 99% movement? Yeah, they, they always protest they're about They're doing the protest. Rights and stuff, bunch of clowns. He don't even know what they're protesting <laughs> about. But we're going to go to a clip. It's nothing really uh, beautiful, but I find it funny. This is my crazy friend Jason going down to <laughs> Wall Street and bothering these peaceful protesters. Let's go. Go, Jay. Go get a job! <laughs> what are you yapping about? Did you go get a job, no?
don't ask me why I just don't ask me why I just showed you that. I mean, that's just a mental case that I have. That's a friend of mine. We have so many more crisp versions of those kind of interviews, but this is a rough cut. We decided to just pull this out of his phone. What makes you go down to the Wall Street section or go up Fordham Road and ask people crazy questions? Where do you find your balls? Because I know you're by yourself when you do this. I don't know. I just I don't know. Sometimes you get these idiots that you know. <laughs> They have nothing better to do is you know, get a job. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. That's whoa, why whoa. the world is... Don't, does it make me an idiot? I never had a job my whole life. <laughs> well, well, that, well, we're talking about idiots. Uh, wait <laughs> well, while we're in the subject of idiots, we, we, we have a couple of fight beta captains here. Uh, here's the part that may be a little strange. And you know I love you, Jason. <laughs> now, you're talking to the idiots saying, what the fuck are you doing there? I think you I'm an idiot. Job, <laughs> but you're there with no job. I think I have no job. job. So I'm, no, I just, I've been unemployed for the past three years. <laughs> yeah, so that's like an oxymoron. <laughs> or, or just a moron. I have no idea. I'm still trying what to I'm, find a job. No, no. <laughs> the thing is, did you ever get approached into a fight or anybody come nose to nose with you? Yeah, lots of times. I got enough scars in my head. <laughs> now, you, you know what it is? When you're that psycho, when you're that much of a psycho, people... Hear you. I don't care how tough the guy is. Says this guy's a fucking nut. A so you might pull out anything from a bazooka, a hand grenade, a slingshot. They don't know what you have on you. You know what I mean? Look, look, look you at the way I'm dressed today. Yeah, look, I is that, workout. Is that your son on your shirt? I, it's my son right here. Look. Yeah. And, 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 my adopted wallet, son. Yeah. You don't have to put the thing in your uh, in your wallet or nothing like that. That's good. That's, 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 that's nice. You see, his stomach's nothing's happening. Too much helmets. I like yeah. that. He's the only guy I know. We go to a fancy restaurant. I take him to Roberto's. Five hundred dollars, you know, just for us to eat. He pulls out a jar of mayonnaise. A fucking helmet's mayonnaise. You carry you never, your off-duty mayonnaise. You never did that. No, I, not that I remember. I, one of I have those mayonnaise years, maybe everything. years ago, maybe I might have done that. When the that. Ville Parmesan comes, you got mayonnaise here. Yeah, it needs some mayonnaise. So you're talking about one of the highest-end restaurants in in New York City, in the Bronx, Arthur Avenue. Roberto's is a great yes. chef. Yes. He pulls out a jar of mayonnaise. So after I almost uh, grab a hole and slide under it, <laughs> it's slide under the table and want to kill myself of embarrassment. Uh, I come up and he starts smearing it all over his macaroni. <laughs> Pieces you know of bread. That's why I got about 35% you know body fat. You should do. You should get the jar of mayonnaise and put it in a shoulder holster and put it underneath your jacket. That like would be a, nice. Like a, you know those guys yeah, that got a piss yeah, in the yeah, yeah. Uh, thing. Right. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. You could start a new trend. Yeah. Actually, you could be on Celebrity Chefs or one of these battle shows and just make all Hellman mayonnaise. Uh, recipes. That's what I'm, you could be the poster boy for Hellman's. <laughs> I went to the gym. I joined the export. The guy told me to press the thing to see your body fat. The guy almost had a heart attack. <laughs> well, he said the average is 19. <laughs> Mine was over 30. It was 35. Talking, talking about I'm health. I'm a walking uh, heart attack. Talking, talking about, about health. health. Why are you important. wearing dark glasses? Uh, uh, for two reasons. Okay. For two reasons. I'm wearing dark. I, I had to go uh, uh, to an eye doctor. Okay. And they dilated my eyes. I don't know what the fuck that means. They dilated my eyes, and you can't see bright light. Were your eyes me. giving birth? Uh, no. Uh, okay. You want to hear the story? All right. My eyes, I, it's hard when lights are, it's hard to see. Uh, number two is, I really don't want to see anybody. <laughs> and, and number three, and number three is, I, I think I look pretty cool. Yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> I like the glasses. <laughs> I like, yeah, I like yeah. that. But what's the, what's, what's the, what's, go ahead. What's the what? What's the diagnosis? Uh, I He's got six right. months to live. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I if you him. can't pay the bill, <laughs> so, uh, he'll, so he'll give you I, another. I'll pay him in seven months. <laughs> <laughs> Times are rough and tough. <laughs> uh, but, but this is this is the point. This, I know we're on a health thing here today. We're supposed to be here with a. Well, group. that's the whole thing. With the, well, this is the whole thing. We have jogging suits. We have jogging suits because we went to the gym. We wanted to work out. So we had our tennis rackets. We did. We played a little badminton. Yeah. And we did a, <laughs> we did a little badminton. <laughs> He's working out. He's doing a wonderful <laughs> job. But I, I read somewhere. I read somewhere. You, you. What are you doing? I read somewhere, or I saw somewhere, or I heard somewhere, that wine is one of the healthiest things you could you could drink. Okay. You could absorb. So I'm going along with this program. This is the wine program. Is that I'm why gonna, you asked him to put in the protein shake? I thought that yes, was a little yes. bizarre. I, I they were making that. a protein shake: banana, raspberry, and red wine. Supposed to lower your blood pressure, right? Yeah. It lowers everything. Yeah, but you, yeah. you're raised, every you time you're around, it you raises. Get you know what I mean? <laughs> I might get shorter. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wonderful. I think it's good with flaxseed. How much <laughs> I paid ten dollars for this wine? 
Some <laughs> some of the best stories though in the neighborhood are Squiggy stories. I love this guy. And we make we make it, we have like a thing called Squiggy Chronicles or the Chronicles of Squiggy. Right. So with that being said, we're gonna let's get the Chronicles of Squiggy entrance. Any day now. My name is Squiggy, and this is my life. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, listen, I got a guy that does this, hey. I got a guy that does that, oh. I got a guy that make your problems go away with a bat, like I got a guy that bumps into people when piss you off, Jimmy. I got a guy that gets your plasma TVs half off, Billy. wanna bet? I got a guy, you like the Jets? Got a guy, I got a guy that puts us behind home plate. So, yeah. Squiggy. What's this week's story that you're going to tell us? Well, it's actually on the on the show. This is uh, this is. Uh, How about all the you do it live? They're all true, but uh, and the guy's still alive today. Uh, it's called the bird, and it's a story of a guy who, who uh, approaches me many years ago, and he's going to rob Yonkers Raceway. <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> that, that's bizarre in itself. I mean, that, you know, going to be in the uh, horses uh, or no? No, no. <laughs> but he's going to. He has a prototype. He wants to build something where he's going to rob the racetrack and then fly out. Oh, he's going to fly out of the racetrack. Yeah, like with a little <laughs> propeller. What year he's is gonna, this? Uh, 78, 79. Okay. He's going to fly out of the racetrack. Is this true? It's true. Okay. Yeah, this is a true story. It never materialized, apparently. But he's going to fly out. Then he wanted to make sure he needed money to get the prototype because he says he didn't want to land on the racetrack and land on one of the drivers coming over the finish line. <laughs> He wanted to actually go, you know, pass and land in a parking lot. And I don't think he figured out the part after the parking lot. He didn't think that far ahead where he was going to go with this propeller when he got to the parking lot. He didn't think about that part. So I said, Johnny Boy, now this guy's a paranoid guy. He's a number runner. Those days had number runners take numbers. And he made make $80 a week. And he says, everybody's following. So I, there's five agents following. We'll make him 5000 a week. So it's costing the government 40000 a week to follow a guy who's making $80 a week. So, uh, I mean, in his mind, somewhere, they're all following. He thought everybody was following. He was, the point one day, he, come, he comes over and knocks my mother's door. He goes, I, he's back again. He's back again. I says, what? He's following me. He's coming down the block. I says, Johnny boy, it's the fucking postman. He <laughs> says, no, they got a different guy every day. Okay. He says, the postman is following him. He's going to, who are you? He says, He's like interrogating the postman. <laughs> and the postman's looking at this guy. He figures, you know, this guy belongs in a rubber room. So I bring him. I call up a friend of mine at that time. And I said, I got a scheme to make a ton of money. I got to bring this guy over there. We go to the fancy restaurant, and I bring the, the bird. He says, what is it? I said, foolproof scheme. Foolproof. I said, we're going to make a ton of money with this guy. I said, Johnny Boy, sit next to him. So Johnny Boy sits next to him. I said, tell them the story. And he's telling them the story about his plan to rob Yonkers Raceway and fly out, but he just needs the money to build the machine. So apparently, uh, they stared at him for about 20, 25 minutes, <laughs> didn't say a word, and, and they just couldn't figure out if this guy was completely insane or was a joke. <laughs> and they're going to me like this. And like, what the fuck? I said, this guy... Guaranteed. She comes over. He says, you think they're going to approve it? <laughs> yeah. I said, Johnny boy, definitely you're a lock. You can't miss. You'll have the money in the morning. And I think they committed him like three days later. They took him away. <laughs> he was in Bronx State. He was over there in the Napoleon Bonaparte Pavilion. Oh, my God. To me. <laughs> yeah. So, well, anyway, on that note, it was a fantastic story. It was a very go, good story, yeah. Let's go to one of our commercial breaks. When we come back, we got special surprise guests. So, light them up. Am I surprised? Hey, I'm Tom Mealy. I'm with Madhouse TV. This guy just walked up the steps. I don't know. What, the, what, what is the story with you? I'm Who comedian Frank Prince. Hey, what the hell are you on here? I want my own reality TV show. You think you're funny enough? Hell yeah. Well, how much money you got? Short arms and deep pockets. You think you can make it? I'm the Myron J. Show. You think? I think. All right. I know. We're going to give him a shot this spring here on Madhouse TV. Tune in and wait for 
Frank Prince, the Myron J. Show. There you go. We'll see you this spring. We've got a ton of new shows coming up. My pal Frank Prince, great comedian. Wait to see him. Tune in to Madhouse TV this spring. Have a wonderful day. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. <laughs> For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. We were saying that the green this room is nicer is, in there uh, than some... Long Island oh, sensation, yeah. television sensation, the car fellas. They're going to be promoting a lot of stuff here tonight, but let's go to a clip to show you who they be. <laughs> who they be? All right, I got a question for you. Hope it's important. Last night, we ordered a pizza pie. There was eight slices. Okay. Yeah. Amongst us two. So just so you get the visual, I'm sitting here. Give your I'm honest opinion. Here. You're right in front of your four slices. Right. Okay. Okay. So I ate this corner. He on ate the left that side. one first. He ate this corner. I, I ate, ate this corner. one. Right. He ate that one. Yes. Right. I ate this one. Yes. Right. He skipped that one. I don't. Maybe I didn't want them. Maybe I wanted the corner. He skipped that yeah, one. I went to the corner. Stood up and I, took mine. Oh, I didn't stand up nothing because if he you reached reach, across I grabbed the and corner, he took well, my slice. Hold. Was this corner bigger? No, it was smaller. As a matter of fact, that's why I took it. You should have ate the pizza on your red table. I could take a pizza I No, you it's can't. Like mine. That was yours in front of you. You're wrong. You chose you that side. You took my half. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. When I, I ate started, my side. I ate four, my side. I didn't. This four. You, you me. I had you, this side. Me. You took me. So now I want Stay on your side. You can't. You're pissed. Stay on your side. It's not proper pizza etiquette. What do you know about etiquette? You're it's wrong, a, it's Mario. A pizza. You're wrong. It's a pizza. You're wrong. Oh, no, come on. I understand you're both upset over the great pizza caper here. No, I'm but not But let's upset. relax. And somebody's here now. He was wrong. There's a piece of rolling up on a lot. Well, that was one of my favorite clips. I watched that a lot, the pizza caper. Um, he's still fighting over these things about yes. etiquette, pizza etiquette. He's still wrong. No, no, no. <laughs> he's still <laughs> right over everything. So, mate, these guys, I'm like a referee. I no, really should be. No. So, every day, everything like a mediator? Yeah. You're the mediator. Yeah, we're mediator. Okay. He's the mediator. Yeah. So, yeah. Who, won this, who won this beef? <laughs> who'd, you give, who'd you give right? Who'd you give wrong? Tommy was right on this one, 100%. 100%. Uh, Mario should have never reached over and grabbed a slice of pizza from the other side. I, I, you I'm know, it is what it is. I call it like it is. Thank I'm gonna you. Start, I paid for the pizza. I grab any slice I want. It doesn't matter. It was in front of me. Stay on your side. Uh, and then the next time we ate it, you know what he did on purpose? 
He stuck his fucking thumb in every single piece oh, of the thing. That's terrible. That you're wrong. Why would you do that to a perfectly He's good pizza? He's a gavone. Because that's how I roll. He's a gavone. That's how you roll. Whenever you get a pizza, make it double sugar. There are tons of sugar when you give it to Squiggy. Give him a ton of sugar on it. Sugar? Yeah. Sugar yeah. on your yeah. pizza? Yeah, 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 right. Right. No, he just see, he thinks he's being true. <laughs> <laughs> you like sweet sauce? You like sweet sauce. Yeah. Yeah. He hates Long Island. You trying to get a date? He hates Long Island. He hates Long Island. Hates Long Island. Uh, you know what? He I said if he lived in Long Island, he'd never come home. I would never come home. They would never see me. Well, but with me. I would leave my house, let's say in December. <laughs> I'll be back maybe July 4th for fucking <laughs> yeah. to see the fire. You hear that a lot from guys from the city, from the boroughs. Right. And I gotta tell you something. I love the island. I gotta tell you, I love it. I don't I love to visit you guys in the Bronx. I love coming to see we you. We have fun. I love going to Brooklyn. I love going to Manhattan. But I love Long Island, and uh, you know what? Born, bred, but been here my whole life. No, but uh, here's the thing. How's the pizza in Long Island? Delicious. Jason, you, you live in Long Island. How's Did you just the pizza? see that clip? Yeah. They're fighting good. over it. <laughs> they actually make good pizza out here, Tommy. Absolutely. You got to find a place. Right Absolutely. Place. Is it because they're bringing water from the Bronx? No. <laughs> actually, yeah, we taught the Bronx how to make pizza. Oh, oh. I don't know about that. I, don't, I mean, I'm not a oh. pizza man. That doesn't insult me. But uh, I, I, how does, I mean, what how, do you guys have over there? You got full moon. Right? No, 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 don't talk actually, the best actually, pizza, uh, one of the best, Antonio's, Antonio's, Mario's, great pizza. Mario's, been there since I was a little kid, they had right. the great, there was a place years ago Wait. called the Half Moon, where I had the best pizza in the world, well, well, is that the, place the whole world, about? what's the place on the corner, Half Moon, Full Moon, oh, the they're, full friends, moon. they're friends of mine, yeah, it was yeah. called the Half Moon, you gotta see his Full Moon, forget <laughs> But how did Long Island make pizza? Are you joking about that? Are you serious? No, no, serious. We, we make good pizza. Yeah, no, no, they, they, they invented pizza, you're saying? No, no, oh, no, it was a joke. No, okay. No. Long well, Island was only invented a little while Naples ago. Naples invented pizza. <laughs> That's right. Pizza Na came from Naples. Pizza came from Naples. Naples right. Well, just like, if, you know, if you cut in one of his arteries, Hellman's, <laughs> Hellman's mayonnaise will come out. And the other one, pizza sauce will come out. Tommy bleeds cannoli cream. I cut so myself the other day and it was cannoli cream everywhere. <laughs> So, you're, you look in great shape. You've been working out? Because it says, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, see the con you see the abuse I got to take from these guys? No, you I got to say, Tommy's in great shape. <laughs> right, Tommy? He's in great shape. What did it say? Five American by five? What, what's, what? what's your phrase? Five by five? Five, yeah. five foot tall, five foot yeah. wide. Yeah, five foot wide. Look at his shoulders, bro. The guy's so like you, two people next to me. You're very... So, Voluptuous? Stout. Stout. <laughs> no, I want the, what's that word? Oh. I mean, what's he doing? Wait. He went like this. You're, you're, you're very this. <laughs> you're very you're this. Very I don't know if that's good or bad. Round, what? Stout? <laughs> like, you know, listen, Stout. Instead uh, of a recliner, he has a love seat at home. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying, truthfully, I've seen you oh, guys. Symmetrical. Went, symmetrical. symmetrical. You guys were close supposed to come, work, you guys were supposed to come work out. Yeah. Thank yes. God I didn't wear that jogging suit because I have it. I was gonna wear that one. Really? Yeah, we it's were supposed truth, to come yeah. work out. That's what I thought. But you know, how would you work out like that? Because I heard before we got here we weren't gonna work out. So okay. I, no, we did it for you. We you did found it for out. You. You we worked out before you guys we really beat worked it. Out? We he did it in my head. Now you drink wine. No, he put it in his protein shake. Uh, he asked the guy to put some wine in his protein shake. I found out wine Good is the healthiest thing you could drink. You're 100% right. Right, so, right, right Tommy? So. $10. $10, hey, $10 a bottle. Hey, get down, my dear friends. It was made in a hurry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Is this Long Island wine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that duck? Uh, this is duck. Like, I said last week. See? That's why we make good wine too. Out. <laughs> it's a. I told last it's week. Not it's a bad. great hour. It's not all bad. It's a great hour. Okay. You said that joke three weeks in a row. So, and then he oh, bought the same wine three weeks in a row. There's a there's a reason why I'm but it's saying this. First week here, so it's the first time I'm hearing it. Thank you. That was a good one, Squig. That's not good. <laughs> that means you ain't watching our program. No, I'm watching. I've been watching. You been been watching watch 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 Speaking of program, tell me more about the radio show you guys yeah, are doing. Yeah, We're doing a radio show on a local Long Island station called WLCN. The Rock of Long Island is their tagline. 103.9. We bring a little uh, tight, yeah, 103.9 FM station. And uh, the Bocce Boys is the name of our show. Bocce Boys. So Bocce you got Boys. away from the car fellas. You know, and car you fellas, we, we are always known as the car fellas. We had our season on Discovery. It was great. We they still it. show it. They still show it. We took it to a next level now. We are opening now a class, the Long Island's only real classic car dealership. And it's uh, Hollywood Motors okay. in West Babylon, Long Island. So where it'll be open in about, you know, June 1st, we should be open. And we're going to have a grand opening party. We want you guys to come down. Oh, we'd love to. Love oh, absolutely. We're going to have a barbecue. I'd love uh, to film everything there. Do we get a car, Tommy? 
You know, he was a cop. He would sit in the car. Spooky always thought he'd be uh, found in the trunk of a car one day. So he's happy just to go to a car I'm always show. happy to be in the Don't seat. Don't worry about it. If he makes another comment about that from about Long Island, he might be in the trunk of a car. Yeah. No, 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 no. We'll have, an, we'll have an army from the Bronx here in about 30 minutes. I love Squiggy, so that's, he's good. I'm so happy when I get in the car and the radio goes on. I hate to hear boom. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know who else makes good pizza just to get on the Patsy's pizza? Very good. From uh, uh, Harlem. Harlem. Oh, 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 oh yes. yes. Exactly. He had a guy in Manhattan that's probably Ju Spring Street, Lombardi. Right. Lombardi. Excellent. Well, you know, he, he was, was the original. First, very, the first, the very first, first, fire, right? first pizza oven in, 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 New, in New York. York. Right. Oh, wow. in Lombardi. Yeah, Lombardi. And it's his second Spring location. Street. They actually cut that pizza oven out, that brick wall in the oven, and put it to that yeah. new location. Good stuff. How much did he pay you to say that? We're giving plugs yeah. to everybody. Let's plug this ourselves. Yeah, really. You know, I own a company called La Casa Grande Cigars <laughs> in the we Bronx. Love your cigars, by and, the way. We and spoke Tommy love them. has an old line of cigars called Dolce Vita. La Dolce Vita. Ella yeah. Dolce, Vita. La Dolce Vita. They have, with they have, uh, ah, ah. I have a problem uh, putting anything with his picture in my mouth. Oh, well. I'll tell you right now, that's the issue I have with that. Wait, you put your sure. picture on your cigar? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Come, Come on. on. He's, got He's got that mug. I got to put it in my mouth? Come on. Originally, oh, I used to make these for Tom. Yes. yes. yes this is the did. size yes. I used to make. That's no, my but, original. But, I, but also for... Paulie, oh, look at Tommy's picture. I see it. I, you can't oh. see that. <laughs> <laughs> he disregarded that he completely. Said, I see I it. I see it. You don't see a fucking thing. What are you talking about? He gave me cigars at the at the, the event. I still have them. That's right. Oh, okay. I, 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 we, we're war. sorry. We're sorry. Okay. A big bordella because you made them for me. And you made them for Giovanni. Giovanni, we were just talking to him on the way over here. Oh, yeah. They wanted he so wanted to come out to see you guys. Yeah. We could have had that war right here about No, no war. Listen, <laughs> actually one thing about us Listen, is that's that that's a compliment, Paulie. Let me yeah. tell you something. One thing the truth is that a lot of people say that um we beef with this show and that show and whatever, but at the end of the day they don't realize just when they think they know all the answers, we change the questions. People thought me and Tommy were arguing about the cigars. And we're hugging a kiss that he gave to my toy drive. We shove it up everyone's ass. Everybody thought me and Giovanni one time were arguing. And we take your pictures. We shove it up everyone's well, ass. Italians we argue don't a argue. Way than normal people. We're making you all think this on the on Facebook to give you something to yeah, talk about. Exactly. And, and then after, is, we're all laughing know. at you. I didn't even know that I was beefing <laughs> with him until the day that I went to the toy drive yeah. that I found out that me and him had a beef. And I asked him, <laughs> what's you it know, about? I, gotta tell you something. <laughs> I, I, I didn't say we had a beef. Un, un, no, not, not you. No, I didn't say we had you a beef. You didn't. Somebody else yeah, yeah. did. <laughs> what's going on with you and Paul? Uh, unfortunately, I said nothing. I didn't see him yet. <laughs> I had to do some jail time. And in jail, the Italians are always arguing with the Italians. They call it the pasta wars. Always the arguing pasta with each other. Was, it's a bit, And in the end, we always make up. But they're always, who didn't get invited for, it started by guys having pasta and who didn't get invited for sauce. Because sauce is a big thing in jail. <laughs> Sundays, it really is. No, because that's, you know, everybody that's your has heritage. to go. We bring it there. It's a big theology. So imagine when you're in there, you got nothing else to think about but the sauce on Sunday. Now, did Giovanni ever make the sauce on Sundays? You I know what? I got to tell you something he did. And Stand he up guy, good, he's going, he's going for his third bid. I know he is. And, and you know, unfortunately, away, yeah. I hate to see that, but he's a good guy and a great, he's, he's a great cook. He's oh. a great cook. Even right. in jail, he's a great cook. With the crap we have to work with, he made some good food. <laughs> I know him as a little kid. Yeah. His father owned a restaurant in Abort. Yeah, margarita. Yeah, margarita. margarita. Ma Johnny Margarita. And, That's and how we do it. he was a kid. He used to cook in there while we were all in there right. getting whacked, you know, drinking grappa. <laughs> he was over here. I don't know what the kid was cooking. I was so gone by then. The kid right. gave me an asparagus. So I don't know what. Probably he gave, gave me young. And you were happy. Yeah. I don't know what he gave me. At least it tasted good. You were drunk. Yeah. Well, yeah. It always tastes better yeah. when you're whacked. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a moral to the story? There is absolutely no moral to the story. There's nothing Actually, moral. There's no story to, to the story. There's, there's nothing moral about it. I like hearing you talk, Squig. So, but yeah, it's that the toy drive was great. You guys came through for it us on that. Great. You did a great thing, really. No, Absolutely. we had fun though. And Tommy, you came great. through with a lot of toys and the cancer thing. We had a lot of yes. fun. That was a cool night, man. Yeah, Everyone did. came out for me, and that was right. a shot. I mean, everybody from you the have Mogwabs. a lot of charity. You do a lot of good. You really do. You just do good for That's your neighborhood. That's why we're here. You do good for Paulie everybody. Holy calls us, around. we come out. Really, that's, that's true. The guy that's doesn't. He's not just about himself. He's about giving back, and that's big. There's not a lot of people like that. Amen. I appreciate that. But you know, we all got to help each other. You know, and that's it. I'm not going to get into a whole thing. Let's go to commercial. I'm embarrassed. Commercial. <laughs> Most face body spray will make you feel so powerful to blow your mind right in front of your face. Goodbye. Oh, no!
Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the bounce dryer bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer and I never have to remember. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful it sells itself in other people's commercials! You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do. Yeah. My flow tedious, uh -huh. gangster ingredients yeah. Show no lenience, so much show obedience hey. Know everything about him, don't need Wikipedia uh -huh. Candy paying caddies make the road to riches easier uh -huh. Mommy yelling Bobby, yeah. Reno on the nightstand uh -huh. Broads take their teeth and lipstick on my rolly ice band uh -huh. Hush hush lunches, but you don't need a nose Envelope dropping in the Yankee section in most uh -huh. The nightlife out of control uh -huh. Spending money buying bottles like we done with parole uh -huh. Slick hair, gold tinted glasses, sharp no Sharp dress, man cuff links, blinging out of control Know the tight, short fuse, quick to rip you apart But scramble legs for the kid and push the swings in the park Keep your eyes peeled for knocks and rats Even these bras that door is slow, we gotta stuff them in backpacks What can I say about it, if you're rocking with the best Best believe, homie, we're the best What can I say about it, we be rocking in the clubs and the streets Bumping in the cars and the jeeps What can I say about it, when you step to me Properly address the king what you're approaching me, bow down and kiss the wing Well, I'm not the red puppet Toros with poly cigars yeah. Only big house, we in La Casa Grande the Bronx yeah. Respect the must, approach us, hat in hand uh -huh. AC connect, comp the few rooms to the fan yeah. Broads clip before a fur in the bag wow. Knock around to the smoky mob joints, never leaving the cab uh -huh. Wise guys mix business with pleasure yeah. Make money 24, turn snatched out, never, hear whatever yeah. Try and stop us, uh -huh. big time rush, dodging coppers Street guys, ritzy Italians, knock us Hook for anything, walk a conspiracy uh -huh. No words on the phone, so ain't no one hearing me Life, it connects, ambitions and taking shots Wide away, dreaming, got me more years than not yeah. While slacks fold down from the knots uh -huh. And I'm stepping out the hottest whips Walking in the joints with what a fox What can I say about it? If you're rocking with the best Best believe, only with the best What can I say about it? We be rocking in the clubs and the streets Bumping in the cars what and the jeeps What can I say about it? When you step to me Properly address the king what you're approaching me, bow down and kiss the wing. Well, I see about it. I see about it. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to Direct TV. Call 1 800 Direct TV. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hours. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best, Locksmith and Hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy. I'm with Madhouse TV. This guy just walked up the steps. I don't know. What the, what, what is the story with you? I'm Who comedian I? Frank Prince. Hey, what the hell are you on here? I want my own reality TV show. You think you're funny enough? Hell yeah. Well, how much money you got? Short arms and deep pockets. You think you can make it? I'm the Myron J. Show. You think? I think. All right. I know. We're going to give him a shot this spring here on Madhouse TV. Tune in and wait for... Frank Prince, the Myron J. Show. There you go. We'll see you this spring. We've got a ton of new shows coming up. My pal Frank Prince, great comedian. Wait to see him. Tune in to Madhouse TV this spring. Have a wonderful day. Welcome back to Latimer Fridays. We just got our delivery for food for Squiggy because he's a real prick and didn't invite anybody else to eat with him. So here you go, well, Greg. No, no, I no, just no, wanted okay. a, little, a little something to pick on. I told me and Jason just to pick on.
But they, they said no forks. They said no dishes. You didn't know the, the car fell as the bocce boy. This is here. like disorganized crime, watching them trying to get the food the, from there the to there. I don't know so what's going on food. here. I'm eating my food on, on top of a racket. What'd you get? What'd you want, a french fry? This is I some racket, sweetie. No, he always wanted to be this a racket. some racket. <laughs> Listen, this is Long Island. He always wanted to be a racket. This is Long Island. They said it's the top place for Long Island. Where'd you go for that? Bennigan's? What is that? Oh, my God. It's french fries parmesan. French fries parmesan. I don't know what this is. This is supposed to be... That's some sorry looking Real color right parmesan. Oh, oh, what are you going to do? All over there, nice? Everywhere. Come on, this uh, guy already spilled the wine, bro. Move over. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this this... Like, you're like a disaster area over here. There's cheese, mozzarella flying. I don't know what's going on here. What the fuck is that? I, I'm not sure. Like, that looks yeah, like Veal. It looks, it looks like Veal. Yeah, it looks like Veal. Right. Is that what you ordered? We need a connoisseur. Tommy, taste the Veal. <laughs> 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 It's the best in the Bronx, <laughs> <laughs> even though we're in Long Island. All right, Tommy, do I it. think the commercial, though, is That's let Mikey right. try it. Yeah. No, I'm good. I ate. I ate. It, it, really. it, I don't know. Every, what, every, now, I know all the Italian joints out here. Where'd you get this? I don't want to mention your oh, name. No, 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 I don't mention. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of what's going on in Bunyo, Spain. It was in Spain where, where, where we're having, on August 26th, they're having 30,000 people, the largest tomato fight. Good. In the world. I mean, a tomato fight? A tomato, tomato fight. fight. Tommy, you want to go out there? It's a waste of good tomatoes. I know. There's people starving all over the world. They're going to throw tomatoes at each other? Well, I don't know if tomatoes You know, Spain, they, do, they do that every year. Do they? Yeah. I heard of I it. I just yeah, got to taste crazy. a little piece. They, they do a lot of dumb shit. They get chased by bulls over there. You see that? In Spain. They, uh, they is that Spain? Or is yeah, that, that's yeah, Spain. Like, uh, the, and the yeah, bulls Spain. Is that where Billy Crystal got the horn up? Yeah, yeah, the bulls yeah. with the hammer. I never understood that. They got kids running everything. They got horns, they call Bro. All right, how is that? Whoa, whoa, squeak, squeak, squeak. How is that? Made in a hurry? Let us know. Made in a hurry. This is very confusing. Okay. Wow. That was it. <laughs> he, he don't want to say because it it's from Long Island. He don't want to say it's good. Yeah, it's no, no good. <laughs> Manja. Yeah, we don't want to wear it. Thanks. Is that one order? There's a lot of veal in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I was with a girl the other night. Sure I said, oh. I said, there's a lot of veal in there. <laughs> Did they give me a napkin? I what, think that's what? Chinese food. You didn't answer us. What does it taste like? Uh, uh, you look I, like Oscar Madison. There's such a thing as Wilderbeast Parmesan. Parmesan. What? Wilderbeast it's no, it's Parmesan. No that's good. Actually, it's, it is it's good. good. No, that reminds me of this thing. So what are we saying? We're giving these... We, give, we do a segment once in a while called The Crew. So we're going to do it with the, the bocce boys now. We give them a pass or we give them no pass. Can, give them a pass. can, can I say something? One thing. What? God. And I hope they call in. I'm watching Channel... I'm watching the news before I got in, and I never got the answer. Apparently, an anteater in the Bronx Zoo, <laughs> a female anteater, female in, the, in the cage in the Bronx Zoo. You're giving them an excuse to make fun of the Bronx again. No, this is funny. We love okay. the Bronx. The anteater is pregnant, now but saying. there's no male now anteater around. Okay. Now, I, I can't figure out how this story ended. <laughs> no, we do with the zoo? No, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. They had no anteater, a male anteater in the cage, and no right. anteater around, but she's pregnant. Does anybody know the answer? Could I call in, please? Do they have an ankle? What? Well, if you have an ant, eat her. <laughs> you know, there are certain times in my life where you have to drink, and this is probably one of those. one of those days. Do we give that joke a pass or a fucking fail? It ain't a joke. It's a story. It's so you're talk. saying no good with the tomatoes, Mario? Yeah. No good? No, you don't waste the tomatoes. Jay, what do you say? I don't say uh, you don't waste the tomatoes. My father's, you know... Tommy. Tommy. I say that at the end of the day, after the tomatoes are thrown, they're already crushed. Pick them up and make your sauce. But is that a pass or a, is that a pass? I knew you were You're giving that. them a pass? Oh, even with all the dirt on you it? You're giving them a pass on it or no? No. No, no? pass. Well, oh, yeah, it is no good pass. pass yeah. for me either. No, all right, so no pass. So they failed. Yeah, they yeah, failed. They failed. Boo they on like this one. Don't waste good tomatoes. <laughs> no. What's wrong yeah. with these people? I don't know. They're not Italian. They should put them in the jokes. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Oh, there you you go. never see them throw tomatoes from, in Italy, do you? They're no. from Spain. Yeah. Oh, why don't we get them back and start throwing uh, enchiladas? Hey! We get that's Mexico, ain't it? That's Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, God. Throwing burritos. Can we insult any other races while we insult that shit? I don't know. Look at the shirt that fucking Jason's got on. <laughs> What's up with wait, you? Wait, wait, we're going to be fucking... Son. Wait, we're going <laughs> to... This guy son. came with you? Yeah, no, yeah. Right. He's a Bronx boy. Street, he's a Bronx boy. Uh, you're so lucky Bill Cosby's not here. <laughs> 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 oh, you're so lucky. I got to eat something. Uh, this is my son right here. Yeah. That's your son. Yeah. Oh, he looks good. I can see the resemblance. He's a kid, no? Oh, good. Yeah. Sicilian. 
Thank you. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Take it easy. Tommy will give you an elbow drop from the past surgery, too. So you guys know. So you guys know. So, Paul, listen, we're really into selling classic cars now. So when you're ready, you know, I'd like to see a nice classic car parked outside the market, outside the Casa Grande Cigars, a beautiful old Cadillac or something like that. Really, I think that uh, nice caddy with something fans. to add a little. Uh, to what do you what think, Paulie Cigars would drive? I, I see you. I see you in a 1960 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Uh, <laughs> That's what I see you in. I actually Not say in in a, a 64, 64, a 64, the last year of the Fins, right in front of La oh, Casa yeah. Grande, yeah. with a nice license plate that says "Light 'Em Up" or "Cigar Guy" yeah. or "No Cigar King." Cigar King. You, you know what I like? You know what I see him in more? You're gonna think I'm nuts. I'm gonna pull him out of the caddy and put him in a 65 Riviera. I always say if I hit the number, I would want a phantom. Don't ask me why. Yeah. Well, the phantoms Listen, are nice. My problem with that is anybody with money could drive a phantom. A classic car. No, Squiggy would be driving it. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> that is the thing with phantoms. If you have the money to, when you buy a phantom, you don't drive one. Right. You, you get driven in, in That's one. That's right. Okay, so are you driving me, Jason? <laughs> And I've been so. watching you on the stage. I'm a little, you know, it's a little scary. A little tipsy right now. That's why I'm not drinking. I'm the one who's got to drive out here. <laughs> you got to watch these Long Island cops. There's there Long Island cops that throw yeah. you funniest stories. I got pulled over doing a cigar event out here in the Hamptons. He pulled me over. And he, this is a true story. He took my license. And I told him I have an uncle on the job or whatever. I have one of those badges. And he says, oh, yeah. He says, because he knew that I would get the ticket squashed maybe. Right. He took my license and threw it into the fucking bushes. Come on. So I got out of my car. This I swear. What a hell my mother's life. He flipped when of, you got out of the car, right? I got out of the car. No, he was in the car fixing. I banged on his window. This is a true story. I was with one of my cigar rollers. He had 10 conniptions. He was like, what are you fucking crazy? I says, he goes, what do you want? I says, get out of the car. Because he has to have fucking cameras there, right? Yeah, right. Get out of the car. I says, you better go find my license or call, call somebody over here. There's going to be a big fucking problem, bro. And you could do whatever you want with me. Because... He threw my... That's he wrong, that's wrong, he wrong, and wrong. I respect the law. Check. I don't dislike anybody. Yeah. But you're not going to throw my license. Nah. I'd rather you give me the ticket. Screw him. He went, he found, <laughs> he found the license because he figured this kid... Yeah. He, he, got, he must have me on camera or he must have thought I was a nutcase and so I'd throw him <laughs> into fucking traffic. But I wouldn't have done that because I'm not a violent guy. But what I'm trying to say, bring out because I have a lot of guys on the job that buy cigars from me. I love guys on the job, the fire department, all them guys. Never abuse power. That's one thing once I hate. In a, once in a while, you'll get the guy that does it. Yeah, you'll get that one. You'll even get wise guys off. that abuse the power. Well, or, the wise or, or the wise guy's son. Or the wise guy's son. Most of the time, it's always the wise guy's son. They're even worse. You know who my father you is? You know who my father is? We went through this with Joe. You had Joe on this show. Joe Faragama. Right now. <laughs> we had Joe. Joe Joe's Farag a great guy. A great guy. Gotta, I love you Joe. you got to love Joe Faragama. He tells it like it is. I love the way he is. Straightforward. Good guy. He's a gentleman. He's a gentleman. He really is. Like gentlemen. Good people. Uh, I'm good. You're not going for the macaroni? No. He yeah, wanted it? Okay, no, I'm good. Sure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's hot. No, I don't no, share no. veal. <laughs> <laughs> don't share many things. It's veal ain't one, one I don't of them. Do. I don't, I don't Is it milk fed? I doubt it. <laughs> no, no, yeah, that's not. Yeah. I just had sushi, so. It's Did you? Uh, yeah. Parmesan? I love the sushi. It's half and half fed. <laughs> oh, you know her too? I know sushi. You like sushi, Tommy? I don't. I love sushi. Fish. I do. I, do. I, I, eat sushi. I, I like. I do. I, I, I'm a, I'm I a like big a fan like of. Sushi. Actually, tomorrow night there's a place out here in Babylon. I'm going really good. Really good place. Again, bring Squ Squiggy. Perfect place for him. He's always babbling on. I tell that <laughs> joke every week. Somebody brings a Babylon. So these bugs, Tommy. What are the name of these bugs? Cicadas. Cicadas. Cic you, we talked about this. What do you think that? Was? I have no idea what you were talking. You ever see you on the fucking phone driving? The He's on the. Like this. Bah, 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 bah. You know how Bluetooth. Pulls? The car's going one way. He's talking another way. I don't understand what he's talking about. Did I miss the exit? <laughs> That's all he said. Did I miss the exit? What does that have to do with Did the bugs? I have no idea. <laughs> no, I brought this up on the car on the way over Every here. Every 17 we, years. He thought it was a meal in fucking like uh, Giovanni's Pizza, uh, Cicadas. Oh, this week's I special with Cicadas. I thought he says Bacada. No, I thought that was the guy who sings that song. John Cicada. Uh, John Cicada. I thought it was the guy who sang the song uh, back yeah. in the 90s, right? Yeah. yeah. Whatever happened to that guy? He's got some voice, that guy. He started He's coming off. out in 17 years. Okay. <laughs> Every 17 years. With the cicadas. He was actually a backup next, singer. Next record, to Gloria Estevan. Years from now. He was Gloria Estevan's backup singer, John Cicada. Okay. And then he ended up coming out with his own song. Now he's got. You are just a full of. I know music. Oh, if you want useless knowledge, this is your guy right oh, here. Oh, no. 
He knows ev- Are you Tommy? everything about no. <laughs> According to Mike, I know a lot right about here. nothing. I am a wealth of useless knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. You know a lot about TV trivia? You guys should have a battle. Do you know TV trivia? Paulie's asking you a question. I know a little bit of TV trivia, but now that I'm being put on the spot, I'll probably fuck up. Okay, no, then I'll bring it up. Okay, all right. So uh, we'll talk about is, is what's the name. What's, what's what's the? I'll give you an easy one. Okay. Who played the Riddler? Won the uh, he won the Emmy for playing the Riddler in the original Batman. Oh, that guy. No, no. One, what? two. <laughs> who Wait, played the original are you Riddler? Out of your mind. On the TV Squiggy. show, you talking about? On the TV show. I wasn't alive. Frank Gorshin. Uh, all right, Squiggy. All right, who? Frank Gorshin. Frank Gorshin. Who? I don't even know who he is. Go- you don't know Frank Gorshin? I wasn't alive when that show was on TV. You weren't? Oh, no, that was in the 60s. Right? Oh, that's right. It was in the 60s. I wasn't alive. I was oh. born in 73. Man. Oh, you were so young. You wouldn't know that. Young, uh, I wasn't in the 60s. You look yes, you was in was. Late, late 60s, 70s. Doesn't <laughs> 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 he say? look older? He Honestly, he don't look like he's born in 73. Looks like in 73 he was driving me. Speaking about cars, this show is a car wreck. <laughs> this show's like a car wreck every week. It looks week. good for 73, We though. drive it out of our way like to have a car wreck now. every week. Holy cow, you're only 38 years That's old. Some Bro, you oh. look like you got punched in the face meal? with that lower lip. Oh, you look God. like you just came out of a fire. So don't start. Wait, I do fake tan. Yeah. Who looks worse? Ah, yeah, fake tan. Hold it, hold it. Yeah, yeah. Fake tan. It's not January, February anymore. This is real. This is real. Oh, I'm outside in the sun. Don't tell me like Paulie Galtieri with the huh? things. You don't do yeah, that. That's to you. it. It's all natural. Really? No, he sits out there with the, Bro, yeah, with the, foil. With the foil. With the foil. With the foil. Yeah. Paulie, anytime there's sun out, no matter where we are, I got to be facing it. Oh, you're, you're a beach it's, guy. It's nice. <laughs> you're a beach guy. <sighs> I'm a beach guy. Well, on that note, we'll go to a commercial. I think our last one. Go put on one of these commercials. Uh, what is it, Prince or the, the Toyota or the, 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 the guy from White Chicks? Go. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody getting time for that. Ain't nobody getting time. Ain't nobody getting time. Ain't nobody getting time for that. Ain't nobody getting time for that. Ain't nobody getting time for that. Ain't nobody getting time. Ain't nobody getting time. Ain't nobody getting time for that. Ain't nobody getting time for that. Ain't nobody getting time for that. Ain't nobody getting time. Ain't nobody getting time. Ain't nobody getting time for that. Well, I woke up to go give me a cold pop. Then I thought somebody was barbecuing. Barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. Ain't nobody getting time for that. Go, 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 Jason. Go, go, go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, the camera's going down. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he broke it last week. Jason, Jason. No, he didn't. He hit Jason, the wall. Is Jason, Jason, loves, Jason loves dancing. No, no that's no, a, just normal. You missed it. He, he goes Jason down to all these 99% yeah, movement, you know. does yeah, interviews by himself. He could get that's killed. He goes and asks people Too questions drugs, on camera. Man. Too many drugs. No, no, he never did drugs. That's Don't say that, idiot. <laughs> Your mother's watching this. <laughs> Your mother's watching the show. Your mother's watching this. But I'm going to tell you a funny Jason story. I hope you don't get mad. <laughs> I want to tell you something. Like gonna cry. Anybody that ever says, I hope you won't get mad, is going to get mad. <laughs> Jason no, is. No, I'm sorry, Brad, after eating that. You know? oh, yeah. <laughs> no, he was dancing to that song, Ain't Nobody That Time. But it is. Who's that girl? Squeaky, you tell me about this lady. Who, what's the story with this broad? 
Ain't nobody got time for this. Oh, the one that was in the, fa- the house this. was on fire. The house was on fire. Yeah. Ain't got no time for this. Whose yeah. house was on fire? This woman. The woman. <laughs> oh, that I seen her. She yeah. ain't got no time. Right, right. No, she got bronchitis. She got the most no crazy right. crazy. And the history of YouTube. And Did she really? Yes. Why? Because she uh, house went on fire. The house is on no, fire. No, they made a song you. about the it. But she was funny. Now this might some. The house is on fire. They go to interview her. Okay. She thought it was a barbecue. They said, you got to evacuate. She says, I thought it was a barbecue. I got no time for this. I got no time. They play it all over. I got no time for this. She's talking about know. bronchitis. Yeah. Right. I got to say, a couple of people that tweet, I want to just shout out to Vinny Stugatz, my number one promoter. He always promotes oh, us. He's a good guy. Vinny's a good and, uh, guy. And Nikki Sabatino, ex for a shout out today. She was she promoted the hell out of the show. Oh, last Nikki. minute. Hey, Nikki. How oh, are you? Nikki. I, I never met her or heard from her, but I see she does a lot of blogs. I got to be us. honest. She promotes... Everybody. Everybody. And she sounds like... She her, promotes the coffee. She really ca- likes uh, reality, promotes, TV, uh, Italian reality. She promotes... She promotes Bungie Boys. What's she so funny? Promotes, no, what? What's so she funny? You know what? All right. Anyway, what's up, Paul? Very important. I have to make right. a shout-out to, to Patricia. What's going on? Commercial, wife. right? She said, if I don't do it, I'm dead. Hello, Trish. Oh, good to Hello, you. Francesca. And Mario's oh, got a new baby. baby. Congratulations. Yeah, great, man. Congratulations. If, he's let me tell you something. I don't if, think it's if his. I, if that, if my, all my kids could turn out like him, I would have ten more. What do you mean all your kids? If I if I had ten more kids and they were like him, he's so good, so easy. Stop I think right you now. should be good to your wife and let her do Stop artificial right insemination the next time. Stop right now. Why is that? What are you talking about? You've got one. No, I'm just kids. saying. Stop right you now. You procreated once and by some miracle, it's a miracle. This kid is beautiful. It's a beautiful. And honestly, don't play. You're playing with fire. Yes. Don't, don't do it again. Do it again. Yeah, again. Yeah. I'm a good looking guy. I don't know what you're talking about. He's a legend in his own mind. Yeah. Look at that haircut. You get this haircut at the precinct, Paul. Look. <laughs> mm-hmm. Look at this guy. I'm, a, I'm aspiring to be a cop. Yeah, I don't know. Come that. on. Yeah, you gotta get the I mustache. got to work in the morning. I think he's going to arrest me. <laughs> don't be a hater, bro, that I have hair and you don't. <laughs> don't be a hater. I choose to not have hair. Yeah, right. I got Ooh, like an Elvis, too. I just shaved it. You're blinding me from the light. Everything <laughs> I look over at you. Blinded by the light. Is there a song? Yeah. Oh, I thought it sounded like Fly Me. Come on, give me a little Fly Me to the Moon. Yeah, you fly me to the Moon. The poor guy's stuffing his face. Nobody wants to say don't believe he can't, He's talking to me. And he's spe- v- I got veal on my jeans like you can't believe you got right veal now. And wine. You got right. veal and wine. I'm going to go home and eat my jeans tonight when I get fucked up. I'm going to stay right now. Look at him and talk. Tell him the story. He's like a fucking menu. Squiggy's a good singer on the way over here. He just always entertains me with his voice. Yeah, he does. He is a good. I've heard him do. Squiggy, can you sing a song? Come on. Fly me to. Give me some fly me to the moon. I need a napkin. Need a napkin. Give the singer a napkin. There is no napkin. What do you think? This ain't a restaurant. Came blowing in from across the sea. He's good. Play some music. Oh, some music. Play Play a little music. Great song from a great movie that was underrated. Who who knows the worst? uh, We all live in a yellow submarine. That was my second favorite song. It's the Beatles. <laughs> you, you like that was my first wedding song. I figured he'd know that song. I don't know. Anything right. that's bizarre. Quick, quick guys. Do you, know. you know the Pope of Greenwich Village? Did you see that movie? Yeah, we had a guy on last week imitating it. What's his name? Miles, uh, Miles from the show Bronx The Bronx-Days. guy can't imitate nobody. The guy's a fucking mental case. You got him on the show. <laughs> he don't know who he is. He, he imitated four different people. They all sound the same. <laughs> but none of them sound like anybody. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Bronx Days was uh, directed by Wayne Gurman. Gurman. Wayne Gurman. Yeah, Wayne Gurman. Gurman. He was on the show last week. He's great. He's great director. Yeah. Wayne Gurman. What show? And what's the original of Bronx Paradise? Bronx Paradise. No, I, yeah. this guy, I saw that. I got the award for that. Yes, that's you right. did. Well, what was Best Frank, villain, right? Frankie Sunshine. Frankie. I actually liked that Frankie. movie. That was right. good. It was good. It was a good The best movie. part was when he got killed at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Who got killed? Look, I thought you watched it. I watched it. I didn't <laughs> like that guy. Very oh, good. Oh, that was him? He yeah. Called, he called him out on it. I want to tell you something. We had the uh, the grand opening. Talk about network. tomatoes. When he went some, up to get his award, he got hit with about 40. No one went to see it. They said, we just came down here to see you get whacked. That's the reason we went to see the movie. But tell them when you went to the awards thing and you, were, you didn't know that they were going to award you the... Well, I was in the back drinking martinis. Thinking, Let me get the fuck really? out of here. Really? Yeah, I said, I want to run out of here immediately as soon as possible. Well, you're in L.A. Wait. Why not have a good and time? And there was all, like, major people over there. I said, nobody even knows I'm here. They thought I was probably the, a waiter. Well, a waiter. Yeah. Some people gave right. me orders yeah, when I walked boy. in there. They figured you did a salad. Yeah, you yeah somebody told me. He says, do you... Is the Caesar salad fresh? They asked oh, me. Oh! oh, oh what the, come on! You talked to Paul! 
getting up wow. wow. That's crazy. Mikey Holy Veal. Cow, he's he's a, Mikey sour, Veal. Right? <laughs> Mikey Veal. The dog is going to be my best friend when I get home. <laughs> oh, God. Do you have any more wine? <laughs> <laughs> What's the story, wind up? So it, was, it ends up that he was about to walk out. He always starts, but never ends. And they called ends. his name the best yeah. villain. I don't know if they get the time. They were like, Squeaky, you won. He's like, I won what? I won. So um, if you know the story, you tell it. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> he won the fucking award. Ron Perlman was the, you know, the actor. Oh, Ron I like Ron. We met him. He, he gave we me the award. So he says, you know, you got to make a speech. I said, what the fuck? Speech? I, I was half gone. Right. I almost walked into the stage instead of going up the stage. There was like a little step you're supposed to go up. I missed him. I get up there. He says, you got to make a speech. I said, I don't know what the fuck. He says, the mayor from Pasadena is there. He says, I says, you know, I've been in this town four days. It's a beautiful town. Pasadena is gorgeous. Wow. I says, you treated me wonderfully. The nicest streets, the nicest people, clean. Everything was immaculate. Was your award I, speech this long? I know. Hold. Oh, that, that was my award speech. <laughs> We had a lot of people logged on. I see the the logged off. As many people just logged on, logged off. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God, I'm going loose over here. He's so funny driving here and driving home. And on the fucking couch, he's telling us how nice the fucking place that he was giving a speech. What's the funny part of the story? But if you shut the fuck up, I'll tell you. Squiggy, you like the feel? Managa gita All right, sure. the bottom line. The bottom line. Bottom line. I says, I'm, four, I'm here four whole days. I'm just a guy from the Bronx, guys? and I hear one fucking gunshot. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole crowd got up and started cheering, <laughs> that, including the mayor. Very good. That was it. That's, That's the whole the thing. Story. You're happy? Great you like story. that story? Yeah, yeah, I like it so much. I'm going to take a cough drop. That's four minutes of my life I'll never get back. Hey! Beautiful story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Oh, Let oh, me know when I got two minutes left. Oh, 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 oh. He's, 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 oh come on! <laughs> you got two minutes? What the fuck, Squiggy? <laughs> I, I look like I got shot! <laughs> yeah, it looks like the this ain't coming out! Looks like the end of his movie. <laughs> the night ain't over! Look at one of their commercials. They got a lot of cleaning commercials on there, oh, right? Every other oh, yeah, fucking commercial, they got cleaning them. commercial. Call, look yeah, at one yeah. of their commercials. Holy, if you come back, I'm not sitting next to him again. Get the product <laughs> them, man. Get it close. You had the right idea at the end of the couch over there. Oh, He was out of the spray shit. zone. Oh, disco tech's going. All right. So how many more minutes do we have on this great program? We got one? One yeah, minute. I want to thank to the, the car fellas to the address. and the bocce boys to for the coming address. out. The address, quick. Listen. 829 Sunrise Highway, Hollywood Motors, the only classic car dealer in New York. And we still got What's Broadway the telephone Motors, number? 529 Broadway. 516 Car Guys. That's it. Yeah. That's cool. Because yeah. we're cool. 631 608 And still next, Broadway Motors. <laughs> bro, we're going to come June 1st. This one, this song goes out to my son, Hunter, my beautiful son, and my beautiful wife, Lisa. Salute to that. If you know this song, hey, sing hey, along. Hey, hey, keep it over there. And we'll, shut up! Shut the fuck up. And we'll be back when the day is new, and we'll have more ideas for you. Wow, what a voice. And you'll have things you'll want to talk about. I will, too. Mr. Rogers, baby. Nice. Light him up. Light him up. Light him up. Light him up. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. There is something really fucking wrong with you. You know, you know, we went to see a comedy show and they kept calling him Mr. Rogers. He got up, he almost fought the fucking guy. They kept calling him Mr. Rogers at the comedy show. Oh, me, at the comedy show. I got called Mr. Rogers. I want to crack a fucking bottle. <laughs> What's going on? Wrap it up. I thought we did wrap it up about five minutes ago. If I wrap it up anymore, if I wrap it up anymore, we appreciate week, come, you, us, you, he you did and his, us out. Yes, he he practiced this thank thing you. for three days. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Thank you. But that's ben great. Down, always La Casa Grande, La Dolce Vita. La Casa Grande cigars. That's it, baby. Light them up.